Good afternoon. I wanted to talk today a little bit about cheap ballasting techniques. Uh, although we've used things like reefing felt, I do still like the idea of ballasting track. What puts me off is you're buying the usual bags of ballast, uh, these little ones like this, and they're two or three pound, and even the Pico ones that have a, a couple, little bit more in it, are still sort of three, four pounds, that sort of thing, for that sort of amount. I went the other day to a garden centre and went to their aquatics area, and this is Unipatch Aqua Gravel, and as you can see, it's very similar looking. 2.99 for what must be five or six times the amount. Now I've done a little test piece like that and it comes out quite well. So I'm just going to use this. There you go, that's your test piece. Um, to show you what it looks like, because obviously that bag for 2.99 would do quite a large layout compared to the usual. So I think that's quite a cheap way. So although you've seen ballasting technique before, I'm just going to do a little bit of ballasting on here um, so that you can see how it looks when we actually use it. So it's quite similar looking to railway ballast. The track I've got here is actually some Mahano track, nickel silver. Very nice, very cheap, about 10p a piece. But I just wanted to try, as I haven't got many points in it, I wanted to try ballasting this. usual technique um, I'm not one of these I've seen some layouts with ballast all over the sleepers and things like that which I, I suppose is probably prototypical but I'm not really happy about it I like mine looking a little bit neater um, so I like to take a little bit of time just to get it right but you can see it's going to look pretty much like normal ballast. These are the cheap track pins I told you about in the earlier video. They've just come from Poundland. In fact, I found map pins do them even cheaper. Uh, and they just need painting black, which makes them a lot cheaper than, again, a little bag of track pins for two quid. So uh, I could have raised the track up on something to give a neater shoulder. But um, at the moment, I'm just wanting to get some a layout built. This is really just a little test layout. I'm going to run some locos on because we're hitting sort of problems in trying to get some of the bigger layouts planned and run and built and they're big projects so I just want this to be a fairly quick little project when you look at you know that that bag costs the same as that bag so that's quite a cheap way the other thing I've experimented with, uh, just show you quickly, which I know a few people have spoken about, and that's that, chinchilla dust. But it does come out a bit beige. I've taped it up. I've done a test bit, comes out a bit beige for me. Although I know a number of people, particularly on continental layouts, it looks, it looks quite nice. A big thank you to Five Elms, a little bit of a shout out for them. Go and have a look at his videos, uh, they're worth looking at. Uh, he gave us the idea of live streaming, which I know some of you have watched, and look out for our next live streaming ex episode. Can you tell me, I'm just going to ask my art director, am I walking in front of the camera a bit? Yeah, your arms are the... Okay, well I haven't got any choice because my ballast is over that side. Do the ballast glue, um, usual little mix that we all know about. And these are just little bottles that come from Hobbycraft that are quite cheap. I know some people spray their ballast first, but I haven't found it particularly necessary. So I'm not showing you probably anything you haven't seen before apart from a different material. So as always, like, comment, or subscribe. Be very interested to know what you think. Certainly it's uh, the cheapest ballast I've seen, a little, and it's actual little stone chips. And when we've done a bit more, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Thank you for your time. As always, like, comment or subscribe.